18 languages. Kamusta, beautiful people? Mabuhay, magandang araw, and welcome back to MGN Diego. Today, I will be reacting to a Filipino kid or Filipino teen. I don't know how old he is, but apparently can speak 18 languages. I mean, I'm sure he's not the only one. I'm, the, I'm not even sure that this is true. Like... What do they mean by this? Do they mean that he can, you know, maybe speak and uh, enunciate a sentence in uh, 18 languages? Or can he actually speak 18 languages fluently, you know? Because that would be very impressive. And this is interesting to me because, as you know, I speak three languages uh, fluently and Spanish just a little bit, you know? Um, so it's very interesting to me. Plus, with you know the globalization and more mixed couples and everything, this is this is bound to happen. You know there are more and more people that can speak uh, multiple languages, even if English is considered the international language. You know, so it's impressive. I mean, if this is real, dude, I cannot wait to see which are the languages that he can speak fluently, and if Arabic, French and uh, English are one of them, you know? I'm pretty sure. I don't know about Arabic, but I'm pretty sure that English and French are, and Spanish are one of these, those languages, and maybe even Portuguese. So we will see. All right, so before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News. All right, let's get to it. Oh, wait, but before we start, you know those teasers that you can find on the channel well, you can watch the full reaction video exclusively on Patreon, so don't hesitate to check it out. Wow! Cool girl! Ooh, that oh. I'm Marlon, and I'm 18, and I'm... Marlon? Arlen? Today I'm going to speak in 18 languages. Okay, so we got English. That's one. Well, yeah. I'm going to tell you all about Tagalog. I'm Marlon Ramos. I'm 18 years old. I'm a whole Filipino. I'm a whole Filipino. I'm a whole Filipino here in the Philippines. Dahil dito ako ipinangarap sa Pilipinas, natural lamang na nagsasalta na ako ng Tagalog. Ang wikang Tagalog ay ang ginagamit sa pang-araw-araw kong buhay. At ang pag-aaral ng Tagalog ay ang aking paboritong gawain. At kung paano ko sila natutunan lahat ay aking tatalakayin ngayon. Alright. English. At the age of 6, I was taught the English language. It's the second language of the Philippines and so... We were taught English, uh -huh. the English language here in the Philippines in like in the first grade and up to college, I think. His uh, accent is impressive. You know, he does not actually sound like a, a Filipino that speaks English. So that is why I think English is a language that I'm most comfortable speaking with because, you know, I've studied uh, a lot of years. I'm fluent in it and I could speak with any English speaker in the world. All right. I think. <laughs> Learning languages was in my mind and it's like it's the last thing I could do, but at the age of 12, I knew I was contented with only two languages. Spanish. Let's go. Let's see. Empecé a aprender idiomas extranjeros cuando tenía 12 años y el español fue el primero. Pienso que la razón por que decidí de aprenderlo era cuando miré una película de la biografía de nuestro héroe nacional, José Rizal. La película estaba en filipino y español y en ese momento me dije que me gusta el sonido de la lengua española. Okay, so it's not just a sentence, the dude can actually speak in that language. Pues voy a aprender ese idioma. Al comienzo tení dificultad en la gramática porque... That's definitely Spanish. A diferencia de Tagalog, el español el, tiene muchos verbos... El diferencia del, del Tagalog, the difference uh, to, to Tagalog... Tiempos que no entendía. Pero seguía con determinación de aprender ese idioma. No tenía un libro ni una maestra, 
para enseñarme si no tenía solo un cuaderno y el I'm gonna get cramps. <laughs> Pero el vocabulario es muy fácil para mí porque los, los españoles, ¿Por los qué? brasileños, colonizaron nuestro país por tres siglos. Ahora la lengua filipina tiene muchas palabras similares. Ahora la lengua filipina. Ahora means now, I think. La lengua, the language, filipina. Con el español. Comer. Did he say comer? Comer is eat, right? I think. Italian. So I'm going to try to pause during these transitions to talk about things. So yeah, bruh, the dude can speak English, uh, Tagalog, Spanish fluently. That's for sure. Let's see about Italian. And the best part is that the accent is what's impressive. He's got that uh, Spanish accent. Quando ho finito lo spagnolo, mi ho detto che voglio più imparare più lingue. Allora ho cercato attraverso dell'internet che sono le più facili di imparare. Deo! E la... Allora ho... Allora, so, means so. Ho imparato l'italiano. La grammatica italiana è molto similare. La, la grammatica italiana, di, uh, di grammar, the Italian gra grammar is similar to... Con lo spagnolo perché sono in stessa famiglia di lingua. È similar to the Spanish one. Lingue. Sempre parlo con i miei amici per aiutarmi a praticarlo. Ci sono volte quando i miei amici mi dicono che io vado pazzo perché parlo in molte lingue. Anche ho avuto un amico italiano da Napoli che ho incontrato per Facebook. Napoli. Mi aiuta sempre con il mio italiano. Sempre correggi gli errori grammaticali che ho fatto. Oh my god, man, that is impressive. I'm telling you because there are a lot of people that can speak multiple languages, but there are I think even fewer people that can speak multiple languages with the accent of that country, you know? French, come on. Alors, j'ai appris une autre langue et c'est français. La raison que je l'ai appris est parce que j'aime la France. Je veux aller à Paris avec ma petite amie. Oh, he's, he's saying I want to go to France with my girlfriend. Okay, so his French accent is not French. You know, you can tell that there is an accent there, but it's okay. He can speak it. Le grammaire français c'est facile parce qu'il est très similaire avec l'italien et l'espagnol, mais le plus difficile pour moi est la prononciation. There you go. So he's saying that the French language is pretty easy for him because it is very similar to Spanish and Italian. But the hard part is the pronunciation, so the accent. Je serai présent, il est très réglé. Alors je... He's, he's, even he is saying that he thinks his accent is terrible. <laughs> je pratique toujours ma bouche pour que ma prononciation s'améliore. <laughs> and he's saying that he uh, practices the way, you know, uh, he's trying to imitate uh, the, how the French are moving their um, mouth, you know, to get better at that. <laughs> he said he's, uh, he always listened to music of a French singer and he loves it. Portuguese, let's go! Portuguese from Portuguese or Portuguese from uh, Brazil? Uma vez quando eu estava assistindo vídeos no YouTube, eu encontrei um music video e a canção estava em português e fiquei surpreso que eu posso entender as letras. O português é muito fácil de aprender e realmente ir uma língua do espanhol. E agora eu, eu posso falar com brasileiro e portugueses em mensagem somente, mas eu não posso falar pessoalmente porque não há muitos portugueses aqui nas Filipinas. Wow, wow, wow. Like, since I don't speak, you know, the other languages, so to my ears, his accent is pretty good. And Portuguese, the Portuguese language is beautiful, you know, but it, it, it kind of also sounds like Russian a little bit, you know, like, it's as if you were uh, rewinding someone, you know, someone talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? It sounds hilarious. German. Ooh. Jetzt will ich Deutsch sprechen. Mein Kopf explodierte, als ich Deutsch studierte. Es ist sehr schwer, um zu lernen. Aber ich sagte meinem Geist, dass 
ich Deutsch lernen kann, wenn ich will. So, ich die deutsche Grammatik lerne. Okay, look, no offense to Germans, but the German language, ah oh man, is, is the less pleasant language to listen to. I'm sorry, it's just... I don't know, it's just... But no offense, seriously. Und dann lernte ich, dass keine Sprache ist schwer, wenn man resolut und begeistert, um eine Fremdsprache gut zu lernen ist. Jetzt kann ich Deutsch sprechen. Ich habe immer gesprochen mit den deutschen Sprachen. Oh mein Gott, ich kann nicht verstehen. Deutsch from Deutsch Netherlands. Ich habe mich in Frank Mayen in den Niederlanden probiert, um das gemakkelijk und vergleichbar mit den deutschen Engels. Wow. Dus ik probeerde het en ik vond het zo leuk. Ik gebruik Duolingo om het te leren en ik, skeel, en ik speel in keer per week. En nu kan ik spreken met Nederlands. Ik valt maar. Uh, de his Dutch, uh, sorry, his German was seemed very uh, smooth, you know, very um, fluent. He seemed very fluent in uh, German, especially compared to uh, to Dutch. More uh, erg fluent. Afrikaans. Nou, Afrikaans. Dat is mijn lievelingstaal dat ik geleerd heb. Het geding dat. I've heard of Afrikaans, but who speaks this language? Dit een moeilijke taal te leren was. Maar toen ik dit leren begin het, dit is zo makkelijk. De grammatica is makkelijk te verstaan. Die woorden is van Engels en van Duits en van Nederlands. Ik denk dat dit een mooi, dat dit de makkelijkste taal in de wereld is. Ik luister altijd naar Afrikaanse muziek, zoals die David Wasserfalls en Brendan Papers muziek. Ah, he was saying that he likes music, Afrikaans music, and he was mentioning the artist that he likes, I think. Esperanto? What's Esperanto? Esperanto. Never heard of it. Jesus is een plek van Silerinvo en La Mondo, kan je op je nestro. Ze vinden het zeer Esperanto. Gs is inventita lingua de Dr. Zamenhof. Sounds a little bit like Portuguese. Li faris tion lingua por universala lingua porque ho moi povas lerni gin facile kai parli gin. Fan com gini esas natura lingua molta ho moi ancora u lernas gin. Do se vi volas lerni tre facile lingua vi povas provi esperanto. Okay. That's already 10. All right, so we're gonna start again. So remember, he's done 10 already. Indonesian. Ini saya belajar bahasa Indonesia karena itu adalah tetangga dari Tagalog. Banyak kata dalam bahasa Indonesia yang mirip dengan Tagalog karena mereka dalam keluarga yang sama bahasa. Banyak orang dari Indonesia membantu saya untuk meningkatkan saya bahasa Indonesia. Mereka mengajar saya beberapa bahasa gaul, kata-kata, dan kadang-kadang saya kadang -kadang. mengajarkan kadang -kadang. mereka Tagalog terlalu. Ada juga banyak orang di Filipina yang yang sedang belajar bahasa Indonesia juga. Jadi kadang-kadang saya kadang -kadang berbicara kadang -kadang. dengan mereka. Those sounds repeat themselves. Swedish. Wow. You can The dude up. went from Indonesia to Sweden. <laughs> uh, Svens kamen baralita. Ja, tykerom... Svenska eftersom det det låter vackert och sexy. Jag upptäckte det språk när jag hörde en låt från Veronica Mars. Sången heter heter Hut i norr. Svenska är det enda skandinaviska språket som jag vet. Wow. Jag hoppas att jag kan lära mig dansk eller norska en dag. Wow. Russian, yes. Vi tipp mina zabotsmarlon i jag var ju på rus. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, he said just a few words and it sounds like I said, like someone is rewinding a disc, you know? It's so funny. I have to say that I'm a bad guy. I'm bad at Russian. I don't know me. No offense, huh? I love my Russians, man, but come on. I learned Russian language. Потому что когда не буду я буду любить издеваться за Россию. Буду я буду я буду. Я думаю, что Россия прекрасная страна. Румынин. Ну, не мелем его, если Марлон. Вербес под синдромен. Он вадцат лимберумуна, а не трикут. Дара, а кому мы вербес климберумуна? 
am uitat cu multe cuvinte. Multe cuvinte. Vreau să o învăț din limba mână. I wonder if this, I mean, this kid should work at the World Bank or the uh, United Nations, you know, where they need people like him, you know, to translate or even do something else just because he's he's valuable. Korean. Greek. Uh, I don't think he's gonna speak Arabic because Arabic is a whole other new alphabet. It's it's a whole other ball game, you know, it's really complicated. Just like uh, Chinese, you know, Mandarin. I am Apotis Filipinas, Toramaceno Elinica Kikinizeka, and Eliniki in my amor filosa, letrevoto Elinico Alfavito. Greek sounds a little bit like Italian, Chinese! Woo! Wo Zhao Ma Long, Wo Jin Tian Wo Shi, Wo Shi Ba Chi, Shi Ba Shi, Wo Lai Chi Filipin, Wo Wo Shi Chong Wen He Fu Jian. See, I feel like now he is repeating the exact same sentence in multiple languages. I just, I'm wondering if he can actually, like, if he goes to these countries where they speak these languages, if he can actually, you know, have a decent conversation with the population. Ah! Yabang. So 18. So thank you for watching. I hope I have said the right words and if I have made mistakes. I'm sorry, I'm not really mm -hmm. fluent in all of them. Bruh, it's okay. So, it's just... You speak 18 languages. It's okay to make mistakes. To practice, so thank you very much. Wow, that was crazy, guys. That was very impressive. And like I said, he sounds fluent to me in other languages, right? Uh, but I'm pretty sure that to the people from those countries he does not sound exactly like them but still speaking 18 languages is insane but i still want to know if he just knows how to say a few sentences uh, sentences in those languages or if he can actually maintain a conversation you know but still i'm not minimizing uh what he does because i wouldn't be able to do what he just did you know like you know speak a whole paragraph in 18 different languages it's crazy and the best part is that he can speak uh the most you know not important languages because in my eyes and my in my opinion all languages are equally equally as important but he speaks the most spoken languages basically in the world you know the, the languages that represent the biggest uh communities and populations Although he did forget one that is extremely spoken, you know, and it's Arabic. Arabic is represented by, wow, like a lot of people in the world. So, yeah. Uh, but still, man, I did not expect him to know how to speak Chinese. Bruh! Because Chinese is so different. It's completely different. It's Chinese, German, you know. Oh, because... Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, French, those, you know, are kind of similar. That's why I'm also able to understand them a little bit, you know, and I have also these, uh, an ease to learn those languages. But if you speak, I guess, German, it'll be easier for you to speak Dutch and maybe Swedish, you know, those countries. Uh, yeah, Vietnamese sounded very interesting, very, very interesting. Impressive. Um, I thought also that Japanese would be one of them, 
but it wasn't because I mean he speaks Korean maybe and and Chinese maybe Japanese and I don't know how old this video is because if this video is like two three years old maybe he's learned how to speak Japanese and Arabic who knows but my brother Garabe Garabe Angaling you got you're the man you're the man and I'm like right now I know Arabic French English a little bit of Spanish and hopefully very soon a little bit of Tagalog. I mean, I do know a few words here and there of Tagalog, but I want to be able to hold a, a conversation, you know, in uh, in Tagalog. So there you go. This was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And you saw, I counted 18 languages, no lie. Although there was a last Filipino language because you guys have multiple languages in the Philippines. So, hmm. <laughs> If you know how to speak all the languages in the Philippine, I think it can come up to, you know, a lot in the end. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me as usual. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and have a great day. I will see you in the next one as usual. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.